So this is an introduction to flows. And you can see that I'm in the setup and entering flow. I'm able to get to flows here. And this is showing that uh, this is Flow Builder, which is replacing Cloudflow Designer. And scrolling down, I can see I have Flow Labels, which I can sort up or down, right? And I have an Action button as well. And so if I actually uh, click Open on a, on a Flow, what that does is to bring up the Flow. And I can see this one was saved three months ago, so uh, this is probably not the version I wanted. So what I can do is to go back to my original screen, and rather than clicking on Open, uh, and we can see this is, you know, Test Entry Lesson Sandbox, by clicking on the Flow Label, what that does is to bring up a, a detailed step here. And again, the description carries here. And you can see the, the active version is, is the third version. And so like, scrolling down, I can see over here, I've got an active version is the third version. But I actually have a, a sixth version that I've been playing with. Now here I can't click on the flow label. The only link is through the open. And so let me go on ahead and do that. And what that does is to bring up this flow. And what you see, looking at the screen, uh, first up from the top is there is a, a View Properties. And by clicking that, that Settings button, you have access to the description. So you can change the descriptions of your flows, uh, which will make sure that, uh, that they are accurate. And that's especially helpful given the nature of, of flows, which is uh, you'll have lots of different versions, you know, kind of as you work with it. So these are the primary elements that you can pull from. And by left clicking and dragging, uh, it's going to pull it over. And we're going to see lots more of that as we dive into these. Uh, then if we, and there's, you know, here, this is really the whole full screen, right? You got logic data and actions right now that are visible. If we switch over to the manager tab, what this does is to show what resources I'm using now and then also what elements are on the screen. Uh, and, you know, we can, again, we're going to talk through more of those, but that just lets you know that they, they do exist, and this is the way that you can access them. Uh, the other thing you see here is you have the opportunity to run a, a, a flow. Uh, you can debug the flow, which is to run it with additional details. And then if you make a change, so at this point I can do a Save As, but if I just change even the positioning of something here and say, let's just do that. And now let's says, do you actually want to save that? Uh, and so for, for changes that you make to this version, you can do that or you can create the new version. But if we return and we look at the other option, which is building a new flow, uh, what that does is to bring up a very similar screen, which uh, just loses the, uh, the left, um, you know, settings panel, we're going to click new flow again, and we're going to dive in and we're going to see that we have the same elements available to us. But if I click over and look at manager, uh, there's nothing here. Uh, so as a sample, if what I do is to pull a screen in here, uh, and I just call it uh, test and test, uh, and what you're seeing is it's kind of very lightning-like over here because you could have different information. Uh, if I wanted to pull in, for example, address, I can do that, and it's going to bring in an address. And it's going to, you'll see some, again, we'll work with these components. Uh, but let's say I click done. Uh, it's going to say you have an error because you actually need an API name. So I'm going to call this address, and I'm going to say done, uh, and it's going to save it. Now when I click on the manager, I'm actually seeing a screen component, which is the address, and an element, which is test. Uh, and then I can click uh, save here, and I have complete information that I can, can add here. And that's, again, the, the, the high-level version that we're going to be playing with. Uh, so that's a good introduction, I hope. And now we can move on to, uh, to dive in and, and talk specifically about what a, what a flow looks like. Thanks.